Last week's video talked about some of the reasons why I decided to take a pro card heading into the 2017 season. So this week's video, I'm gonna compare and contrast what it's like racing age group versus racing pro. Day-to-day -day life for me didn't really look any different when I took my pro card. It's not as though suddenly all this extra free time opened up and I was able to train even harder and had all this extra motivation. My hours per week did edge up slightly. So when I was in training, I was closer to 18 to 20 hours a week versus about 16 to 18 hours a week previously. But I still had other commitments outside of triathlon and that didn't change. For Ironman and 70.3 races, as a pro, you have the opportunity to purchase a Ironman membership. It's $900 American and that lets you sign up for as many Ironman and 70.3 races as you'd like. You have more flexibility when signing up for races. So for really popular races like Ironman Arizona, when you're an age grouper, you've got to make sure you're at your computer a year in advance when that race opens up to be able to have the opportunity to get in. Whereas as a pro, you have a lot more flexibility in signing up for any race that has a pro field until about three weeks before the race. My favorite benefit of racing as a pro is the opportunity for homestays. So at most Ironman 70.3 races, they have a homestay program where you have the opportunity to stay with a local family that's very generous in opening up their home to you. These are some of the nicest people that I've ever met. And it's a great way to get some local information and really feel like you have a home away from home. You're eligible for prize money. So at any race that has over $5,000 in prize money, you need to have an elite card in order to be eligible to receive it. So as an example, at Ironman Lake Placid in 2017, Clay Emridge, an age grouper, finished fifth overall, but he wasn't eligible to receive the money for fifth overall. I finished as a seventh pro, but eighth overall. But since I was the seventh pro, that gave me seventh place prize money. At many non-Ironman branded races, you can get discounted or free entry if you're an elite triathlete. It's not something that I have to deal with, but some better known triathletes have commitments over the race weekend, such as pro panels or sponsorship commitments. The actual race is very different between the age group and the pro ranks. The biggest difference, and this is a really significant one for me, is the head-to-head -head racing. So in age group racing, a lot of the races have moved to rolling starts or wave starts, so you never know where exactly you are in the race, whereas in the pro field, everyone starts together, and I love the fact that you always know exactly where you are in the race. If you pass somebody on the road, that means that you are actually in front of them. In pro racing, not only are there fewer feet to hang on to in the swim, but they're also much faster feet. So as someone such as myself who is a weaker pro swimmer, it can be really difficult to find anyone to swim with. It can be a long and lonely bike ride. There's not that many people out on the road. So unlike in the age group ranks where you can have a lot more carrots in order to catch or to help pace off of, it can be a lot more mentally and physically taxing when you're out there all on your own. I find the run in the pro ranks a lot more tactical. In age group racing, all I would think about is getting from the start to the finish line as quickly as possible. Whereas in pro racing, I wanna finish in the best position possible, which means that there can be a lot more tactics and it doesn't necessarily get you to the finish line in the quickest time. Although day-to-day -day life hasn't changed for me very much since taking a pro card, I would say that over the race weekend, it is pretty different. With that said, I do love that at the end of the day, everybody covers the same course and the same distance, whether you're an age group or a pro. So thanks a lot for checking out this week's video. If you like what you see, click the subscribe button down below. And until next time, happy training. Oh, this you crazy mother. Yeah.